Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean. All right. And this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, we have a simple X Gamer flavor review. Yep, we've got two flavors. Uh, Contrasting flavors, but all <laughs> fruit. Yeah, <laughs> we've got Steve's apple and King of Banana. So, yeah, I'm not, not sure who Steve is, but we'll be starting with his apple. Um, presumably he's not royalty because that otherwise it'd be his banana I, 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 I was forming that I couldn't like make it make it make enough sense before it come out my mouth <laughs> but it's it's said now <laughs> so we've, we've got 400 ml of water for this one. Have we? I have. <laughs> I put this, do you know what? It was about half four this morning. I filled up this and thought, I'm going to need cold water for this review tomorrow. And then I've got 450, hang on. <laughs> mm. It smells like a nice apple flavour. Mmm, proper green apple. Mm. Instantly the water starts turning green. Yeah. Look at you with your black power shaker. <laughs> You've not seen this yet, have you? I saw it in a video you did. Oh, I thought I'd be catching you out and saying... No, I do watch some <laughs> of your videos on your own, you know. <laughs> this our channel after all. Yeah. Oh, like you're like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're like the mad scientist behind it, you'll have to leave that out. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the one thing I don't like about this shaker is it's it's difficult to pour straight out the thing. Um, Mine's coming out of the screw. That's because that screw top's not on right. <laughs> Mate, you can tell I was distracted before this video because I've not even got glasses out of the cupboard. What an idiot. So sorry. It's all right. Sean's squeezing this on his lunch hour and it requires me to be organised. <laughs> and I've done quite well so far on every one we've done, up yeah. until this one. I ended up getting distracted by a Sterling Moss story <laughs> on Top Gear, which I've just told Sean before the start of this. Yeah, that, that was um, that was about 10 minutes, I won't get back. I'll say that while he can't hear me. <sighs> but yeah, so I've took like five minutes of Sean's lunch on about a Sterling Moss story. <laughs> If you're interested, <laughs> let us know in the comments. Sean might even put it on YouTube. <laughs> nah, there's a lot of people out there. It was a uh, Top Gears from 20, oh, early 2020 episode, which did a little piece on him. Yeah, mm. Anyone who's fans of motor racing, all, why am I pouring it in two glasses? I am, my head's gone. <gasps> pouring you one, lad. <laughs> Soon, middle of May. Middle of May we can do that, unless, I was thinking today actually, we could potentially do some videos together in your back garden. But there'll, be a lot of, there'll be a lot of wind noise, but you're allowed to meet in private gardens from the 29th of March. Yeah. So that that's a possibility. Yeah. We'll hold our breath though, I believe uh, Europe's yeah. going into full shutdown again. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. So we'll see. But, right. Yeah. Steve's Cheers. apple, you've already drank some of that. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Ah. Cheers. It, 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 it smells um, like a very good sort of Ooh. green apple. There's no other way to describe it, really. And, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's really nice. Quite a juicy one. It's not very sour. It's a bit sharp yeah. in places, but not overly sour, which I, which I don't find apples overly that sour anyway when I eat them. So, no. And I, you know, and we've said that plenty of times, and we've said that plenty of times, and everything. And it's like, yeah, sour green apple. Is it always sour though? Mm, no, don't agree. Don't like it. But, yeah, I, th I think this is a, a nice. Well, this is really good flavor. It's, it's Steve's just, got a good taste in apple. Yeah, it's it's just strong enough as well. I wouldn't put, well, I wouldn't want that with any more water. No, that's good. Um, that, but it it is fine as it is. Uh, Nice. Wouldn't cool. feel the need to put in less. Some of the X Gamer flavors, they have been a little bit watered down. And 
getting a phone call there. Oh, I was going to say, you just, uh, you just paused it, yeah. Decline. I can wait. It's important, I'll leave a message. But yeah, it's a nice, clean green apple, and it, it tastes, tastes strong enough. They eat these packets! <laughs> So this one, King of Banana, we're mixing this with milk yeah. after the success of trying the Cape Town, Cape Town with milk. We were eager to try more flavours with milk and banana flavour we thought, uh, I think it was your idea actually, you said, you know, that'll be like a banana milkshake, we can have that with milk. Mm. It smells of banana in the packet. Mine opened nice and easily today. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I have got a voicemail as well. That's the, that must be the first time I've been left a voicemail in years. Mate, it's a boy. Someone <laughs> probably died. I, I don't know who I've got left to have died in my life, to be honest. <laughs> They're calling back again. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it quickly, John, just in yeah, case. Yeah, it could be really important. Go on. The the they just hung up. <laughs> I I answered and said hello, and there was silence, and then they hung up. So, yeah, no idea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, see what your voicemail says. Yeah. So it's uh, it's turning yellow. Like they're, they're ringing again. Just answer it. Hello. Gives me time to shake this. Speaking. Just for the record, I don't. I hope somebody hasn't died because that would be just an unfortunate um, coincidence when I said that. Okay, cool. Sean sure won't have said that until he edits the video, and he probably won't make it anyway. So there we go. Virgin Media. I said it's it's not a good time. Can you ring back, please? And he he said something, and I didn't understand what he said, but I think it was a yes. Yeah, you sometimes can tell him what time to ring back. Yeah. I just said, give me ten minutes. Have you, have you got got to try in this yet? No. It smells of banana. Mmm. Looks like proper good banana milkshake in the in the glass. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Yeah, it smells just banana milkshake. Mm. I think it's a little bit too sour. Mm. I think if we put a splash more milk in there, it'd probably be better. You reckon it'd be a good one? Yeah. Oh, something I said I'd address. Um, I can't remember who commented, sorry, but um, I know somebody, I've only just remembered to address it. Um, somebody was commenting and saying about the, the size of the scoops in the X Gamer tubs and that X Gamer on the packet say one to two scoops um, and one scoop isn't 10 grams. Um, I, I've done some testing with my scales. Uh, a level scoop of X Gamer exactly level is going to be seven grams. They say a serving is ten grams. I've never had an issue because I always just do a heaped scoop after measuring the G fuel and finding that a heaped scoop that is seven grams, which is a serving. I found a heaped scoop of X Gamer has come out ten grams every time for me. Um, so you jerk an X Gamer have just gone. People aren't going to level off their scoops. They're just going to scoop it in and throw it in. Yeah. Yeah, Fair that's enough. what I think. And they, they've said one to two, because if you're doing level ones, it's going to be about one and a half scoops. So, yeah, but yeah, just to be clear, in, in my own experience and measuring, it, uh, a heaped scoop has come out at 10 grams. So, nice. yeah. Just wanted to address that. Very nice. No, I like there's it. There's been, been some confusion there. Nice little uh, public announcement. <laughs> It, I think I think this is really nice. I don't think it's as good as Cape Town. No, I think. Or who did the jam roly poly one? 
Yeah, that was Cape Town. That was X Gamer. Oh yeah, that one. That that was yeah. sublime. The, the Swiss roll one. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I think they've probably tuned it to be a bit sour, so that there's a bit of bite to it when you mixed it with water. Yeah. Um. So definitely. Like obviously, all of these flavors are going to be like they're going to have in mind that people will be mixing. Yeah, them with I don't water. think X Gamer plan to mix them with milk today. So no. Um, but if. That's the thing that the nicer this is with milk, probably the worse it'd be with water. Yeah. So, but I, I think mixing this with milk is definitely an option if you've got a tub of the banana one and you fancy a change. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. But yeah, the Cape Town that really shines with milk. Hundred percent. I, I do think this is good with milk still. And um, what was the, did we do a G fuel milk? We did. We did the peach cobbler. Yes. Yeah. That, that that was good, but no, that one with water was disgusting. To be honest, was it? Yeah, that's why I tried mixing it with milk. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to taste better. <laughs> yeah. Nah, fair. Well, I think on that note, it's uh, nearly the end of Sean's lunch. Yeah, we better wrap it up. I think we, we've got a couple of. Um, they're not the most exciting flavors. They're not pushing any boundaries with these, but I think they are really. Solid flavors, really good. Yeah, and really you know, flavors. if you were to, if you did, you know, say you bought a tub, and we know those tubs are like sixty servings. Is it sixty yeah. servings? Yeah. If you bought a tub and you're getting a bit tired of it, but you don't want to spend loads of money on a new tub, it might be worth picking up a couple of sachets because yeah, you know, just to try and mix it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You definitely. know, I don't. You know, we've we've always said we don't want our people to go out there and necessarily buy a tub based on our recommendation because of you know the connotations of if you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you've already bought a tub that you do like, you know, and you you want to mix it up, but you don't want to buy a full tub, yeah, I'd always buy a, a set of sachets. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yes. Yeah. It's always going to be personal preference. I saw I saw a comment yesterday on one of G Fuel's posts because they they were bringing back the peach cobbler for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they they were bringing it back for for a weekend or something. And somebody commented and said, "Oh, this peach cobbler is the worst tasting G Fuel since the Dub Melon Mint." And I thought, "Oh, the mm. Dub Melon Mint. That's one of my favourites." Um. So <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and yeah, uh, we still have the discount code, don't we, as well? Yes, EFR10. EFR10, get you 10% off. <laughs> yeah. Xgamer as well. So yeah, give it a try. Um, how much was that raised again, quickly? Uh, it's about... Eight quid for seven sachets, I think. But then there's postage, but on the sachet... Excuse me, if you only buy sachets and no shakers or anything, the postage is only a couple of quid. But if you buy a shaker or a tub, the postage is about eight quid. From so yeah, you, you, like I so, say, yeah, I was right. And if it, I was right in saying if you've already got a tub, buy some sachets just to mix it up a little bit, you know, yeah, like, find a new yeah, flavour you like as well. With with the discount, it comes to under a tenner, I think, or for about, about eight sachets for seven, seven. sachets. Oh, that's good yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, on that note, it's the end of Sean's lunch. It's the end <laughs> of this video. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.